question is, for a lab instrument, why does design matter? At Illumina, the sort of most important aspect of the products we make is the accuracy and data quality. And data quality really starts with how customers accurately interact with the instruments. And that starts with user experience. We start with a plan. And from that plan, it informs us of the steps that we need to do. They're the building blocks of all of our progression of this design from understanding our users, their context of use, how they do the things they do now. Understanding this workflow, we'll be able to then understand what are the pain points, what are the gaps, what are those risks that they currently have that we can solidify into something that's safe to use, effective, and highly satisfying as well. As a design team at Illumina, we are obsessed with understanding our customers' and users' needs. And we go beyond that to really uncover needs that yet they can't express. So we were able to understand where they were losing seconds or losing minutes on different processes. We were able to understand where things were unclear for them and make improvements in that manner. And those were so important to really understand just how meaningful it is to them to save seconds or mm -hmm. to save minutes because they're doing the same thing day after day and all of that put together then turns into more of a burden, more of a stress of the things that they have to do physically and cognitively and so how can we help with that? Definitely fitting it in the package was, was very difficult and that echoed everywhere. I think the hero moment that was most difficult to achieve, but also the biggest payoff is, we've got a big display that wants to live right in front of the user, and we've got flow cells that we want to present to the user, and those weren't coexisting well in terms of a, an interaction point. So we had to come up with some kind of a way to have the whole thing close up because we're shielding them from light, we're shielding them from heat, we're making sure that motion components and the user are separated, and all that has to open up to present the user the ability to put their precious uh, flow cell inside. We're taking something wildly sophisticated and distilling it down to a single solitary form yeah. that even kids in school can look at and be like, that's super cool. I'm super interested in genetic sequencing. And they may go on to use our product to do something incredible in the future. That's a good point you're making because NovaSeq X is an example of how a very complex, vital, technical product can still be um, imbued with simplicity, with delight, and with wonder. We have some of the most insanely talented engineers and scientists at Illumina in the company. And the level of care that they bring to the design and precision to the internal of the instrument, to what's going on inside, we've always wanted to celebrate that. Since we can't rip off the skins and let the lasers go everywhere, we try to bring that precision out to the outside of the instrument. And that results in something that is very beautiful. What can we do to I think beauty is very important in design. Why? Because beauty makes functionality more approachable. Beauty makes functionality easy to use. And also, a beauty instill a sense of trust. The NovaSeq X is the most considered instrument we've designed to date. Yeah. Every part of the workflow, every part of the instrument has been considered, reconsidered, and designed specifically for our users. So for a user thinking about moving up, it's a no-brainer because every part of their workflow we've given thought to and we've improved upon. Well, we guide the workflow with light and there's a lot of interaction points on this workflow. We had to have lighting for this rising sun moment with the flow cell. We also have status communication at a distance. And then we open up, you've got little spot lighting telling you which is the touch point that you're going for. Or in the case of the rising sun, lighting up where you're going to be working with the uh, consumable placement. From the very get-go on the program, we, we set a requirement that all of the consumables be disassemblable with no tools. So we took it upon ourselves to make absolutely every component disassemblable by hand. So there's no tools needed, they don't have to go 
find a given screwdriver or a wrench, everything just pops out with minimal effort. The Consumals team got tasked with the same challenges that the rest of the platform team were, uh, fitting everything into the same package size. And that was a big ask of the whole team. We had to ask a lot of people to take on extra risk to be able to give the user everything all at once. So getting that packaging to, to play well with the mechanisms and the interactions of the instrument was a, a shared challenge that both teams were able to succeed on. One of the biggest pain points for our customers is the amount of waste they both have to tolerate, but also that they feel like they're throwing away. So on Novaseek X, we really looked into different ways that we could design this cartridge, design in some of the features needed for the science to become more aesthetic, to reduce the amount of plastic, and to create a much lighter cartridge that was also easier to use for our customers and easier to break down. These are a lot of the things that we started to learn. We, we learned that waste is a very real and dangerous thing that users don't want to touch. They want to minimize that exposure as much as possible, so how can we help with that? How do we design these waste bottles so that they don't splash as much mm -hmm. and so that they can touch it as little as possible? Everything we learned from the many months we spent talking to our customers, went into the design of Novaseek X. So every detail of the experience focused on maximizing usability, productivity, accessibility, and minimize and turn around time and then make the best of our customers precious samples. We need to connect physical we do not want anything standing between our customers and their next breakthrough. We want them to be focused on the next discoveries, on the next life that they can save.